Post-workout meal going down, um, 200 grams chicken, 200 grams sweet potato. It's a bit annoying because it's not, when I cook my food at home, it's always in raw weight. This is cooked weight, so I need to like work out the difference. But I didn't have any meals prepped. I know, shocking. So I had no choice but to buy this. Yo guys, so the secret is out. We are heading to Los Angeles, California, LA, um, for the WNBF World Finals. I don't know what the hell they call it, but yeah, we're going, we qualified in the Dubai show. I never planned on doing two shows actually, I was always just gonna do the one show and then be done with it. But figured, obviously qualified, it's the biggest stage in the world. It's basically like the natural Olympia, um, sort of level show like it doesn't get any bigger than that all the people that qualified from the WMBF all around the world will head to this show if they choose to so um, I like a challenge and this is the biggest challenge as they come really um, so yeah I was debating on whether or not to go for a long period of time many different reasons that I'm not really going to go into depth too much but the main thing was obviously the financial implications of it as going to LA is super, super expensive. The flight alone cost me £1,000, which is 4,000 dirhams if you're from Dubai. Um, just going a lift back home. So yeah, the flight alone was expensive, um, not to mention all the other stuff. And obviously I'm going to be leaving my business, I'm a full-time PT, an online coach. Online coaching I can do while I'm there, but most of my business comes from PT and one-to-one -one personal training clients in the gym. So I'm going to be away from work for a long period of time, like 10 days I think I'm going. So I fly on Wednesday, um, the show is on the Saturday. Obviously we have to get there early to weigh in, do the lie detector test, the tanning and it, all the other stuff. And I'm going to be jet lagged as LA time is... Uh, 11 hours behind the time I'm used to in Dubai so yeah it's gonna be hard work but I just want to do it I figured the, the thing that made me book it in the end I spoke to a few people that I know and it's like said to me oh you, you have to go obviously you're gonna be going to um, to compete out there but they don't understand all the other stuff that goes on behind the scenes and um, yeah, it's a big commitment, but ultimately I was always going because, like I said, this is going to be the biggest show of my life. It's only going to be my third ever bodybuilding show. I've competed two previous times, um, and yeah, I've been dieting hard from, from three weeks out, so when I booked the flights was at the three-week mark, and that's when I really got back on my diet because I was eating cheap meals. I mean, I was even drinking vodka um, <laughs> on a boat party just bef like two days before I booked my flight. So three weeks out, I was drinking alcohol. Because like I said, I was dead set on not going to do this show. I literally, my, my friends were going on this boat party and they were inviting me to go. And I said, you know what? Like, I'm not going to LA, I'm not gonna compete. And I went on this boat and I drunk probably that night. I got home early hours in the morning, drunk like maybe two bottles of vodka. Felt like shit the next day, cheating on my diet, gained 10 pounds of body weight, oh, uh, mostly water weight, obviously. And then I just started feeling like shit the following days after that, feeling like I messed it up and all the rest of it. And then I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to go out there with whatever physique I bring. I'm going to get back on my diet and I'm going to make it happen because I would regret this decision if I didn't go probably for the rest of my life or at least until I competed the following year. 
So I would have been thinking about this for the next year and been miserable with my decision. So I booked the flight, grabbed my balls and booked the flight. And yeah, there's no turning back from there on outwards. So yeah, I'm going to be taking you guys with me on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be filming as much content as I can. I'm going out there on my own. My girlfriend's not going with me, so I'm going to hold the camera like this. I'm going to be taking the tripod. And I'll just try and keep it raw as I possibly can, um, showing you my experience. going to probably be a lot of me talking like this video, uh, showing you some training footage, but basically just taking you through what it is like to compete as a natural bodybuilder, amateur, because I'm not a pro yet, yet. Um, so yeah, if you win this show, I think you become a pro. And there is a pro show on the Sunday. But I'm going to go bring my best physique, do all I can and the rest is up to the judges and it's not in my hands and then at the end of it I'll gain mad experience I'll meet some cool people when I'm out there um, get some good connections get some good content get some good photographs and get to see LA I've never been to LA before I've been to America but never LA and at the, the w very very worst I'm gonna have a good holiday out of it and also I'm looking forward to the World Cup and Wales that's where I'm from, uh, play USA on the Monday, the first game of the World Cup. First time we've qualified in like 65 years, I think it is. So the, our very first game is against USA, and I'm going to be in America. So I'll definitely be taking my New Wales shirt with me and going to find somewhere to watch that. Um, all right, I don't want to ramble on too much. Hope this video hasn't been too long. Please, please, please like, subscribe. Let's grow this YouTube channel. I'm on about touching 400 subscribers now let's get to a thousand and then we can monetize and then i can post more content do more um youtube videos for you guys all right see you in the next video